The number one reason for divorce is financial stress. Our relationship was perfect except when it came to money. Unfortunately, my money wellness coaches hear that nearly every day. We talk a lot about money, how it should flow, how we should save, give, and have a plan and all that other stuff. But you know what? The most rewarding and heartwarming thing for coaches at My Money Wellness is the positive impact this process will have on your marriage. Imagine you saying this instead, we're dreaming again, we're communicating like never before in finances. I'm surprised how well this has helped our marriage in so many areas. Well, let's get you there. Just as there are unique personalities, there are unique thoughts about personal finances. And that's why it's sometimes tough for a husband and wife to agree on how to handle money. So it's really important to understand the general differences, agree that there are differences, and meet each other on common ground. And common grounds are things like savings, budget, spending. But just as important, we need to discuss the differences. You know, Dave Ramsey calls it saver spender and nerd free spirit. In the area of the saver spender, for example, let's look at some characteristics of a saver. They plan for tomorrow. They worry about rainy days, college savings, and retirement. They want to look forward. They are viewed as tight by the spender, not having any fun. The spender, meanwhile, woohoo, live for today, enjoy life. We work hard for our money. They can be viewed as frivolous, impulsive, and short term thinkers, and that creates friction. Now, what's interesting is you may be a spender in one area, but a saver in another, and that's fairly common. In the second area, Nerd free spirit. The nerd, oh, that's the numbers geek, loves to do the budgets, track spreadsheets, and have a one hour daily meeting on this stuff. Probably has an app in their iPhone. You know what? They feel like they're taking care of their loved ones. However, they are viewed as controlling, stringent, no fun, frugal. Ooh, they're the fun police. However, for a free spirit, that could be painful to even look at the budget. You want to live in the now and you don't want boundaries. And that can appear to the nerd as being irresponsible, uncaring about the future, selfish, unappreciative. What? The nerd did all this work and they won't even look at my work. And there's a little bit of all of this in all of us. And this all comes out in the wash when you sit down, you do a proactive budget, and you understand each other's thoughts and emotions. And you know what? This is going to take some time. The first month might be painful. You're going to be talking about things you didn't ever want to talk about, facing things you didn't want to face, uncovering things you wished never were uncovered. You'll have to admit selfishness. You may have to drop some bad habits and reprioritize from individual wants to what's important to your family. So stop avoiding this thorn in your marriage. It's time to put on the big boy pants and communicate like adults. This is a process not an event, not going to happen overnight or even in one meeting. So turn the TVs off, shut off the phone, schedule some time with your spouse and take control of your money. It'll change your life, it'll change your marriage, and soon you'll be saying things like this instead. Our marriage has never been better. Most importantly, do something.